Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week I'm doing some soft pastel and charcoal landscape drawing slash painting. Um, it's going to be in a minimalist style, so less is more kind of approach to making landscapes. In terms of materials, uh, pretty basic. You can see me using some compressed charcoal. This is made by a company called Derwent and they're just called Excel charcoal blocks. And I use that to put in the horizon line, a few marks on the land, and then I'll smudge a bit of charcoal using some tissue paper into the sky and the land. And that's about it as far as the charcoal goes. Once I've done that, I'm then going to add in some color and I'm going to use soft pastels to do that. And I use Sminka soft pastels, Sminka just being the name of the, the German company that makes them. Some people call these chalk pastels, um, which is technically not correct, especially with Sminka pastels, because they don't use any chalk. Um, it's just pigment and a very small amount of binder just to hold the thing together. So I always refer to them as soft pastels, but some people talk about using chalks or chalk pastels. I say it's not technically correct. In some cases it maybe is a little bit because different companies have different ways of making these soft pastels. The other thing I wanted, I'm going to ramble a bit now. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was this year, um, 2024, still early in the days, 2024. I'm recording this on the 8th of January. So beginning of the second week in 2024. The first week got off to a good start in terms of art for me. Um, January the 1st, I did spend some time doing some drawing and painting. But then it all sort of fell apart after that. Um, I didn't do any more drawing or painting for the rest of the week. I did do a bit of digital art. I've been playing around with that a little bit more, but it wasn't very successful. So overall, not that successful of a week for me. Today though, I did pretty much first thing. I did some drawing and painting and recorded some of it. I did about five or six uh, drawings slash paintings and recorded a few of them. I guess it happens to everybody who does art that from time to time um, you maybe don't feel like making art, maybe don't feel particularly creative. Um, you might be sick, might be tired, lots of reasons why you might not want to do it. In the past, when that's happened to me, I've kind of forced myself to make art. This time I didn't. I decided I didn't want to force myself. I'm always giving the advice that art should be fun and you should enjoy it. So I thought, well, I should, I should take my own advice and not just give it out to other people. So I decided, okay, if I don't feel like doing art, I'm not going to do it. Now there's two ways of looking at this. Some people will say, and some people give advice that if you, if you really want to make progress in art, whatever that means, um, you're going to have to do art. You're going to have to practice art, even when you don't feel like it. Another way of looking at it is, and as I said, art should be fun because I think art should be creative. It's not just a technical mechanical process that you have to practice. There's a creative side to art. And if you're not feeling particularly creative, as say you might be tired or sick or stressed or whatever it is, and you're not feeling particularly creative, is there any benefit in forcing yourself to make art? So both are valid arguments, I think. But this time I tended towards the second one. And I say, I think to me, the creative side of art is more important than the technical stuff. Um, so I'm tending towards the idea that if it's, if you're not enjoying it, then, you know, is, is there any value in just making marks on a piece of paper or maybe just I'm wasting pieces of paper. So 
this time around I tried the different approach and I did I though I wasn't making art I was still reading about art history different periods in art history I was looking at some sort of contemporary or modern landscape artists and what they do so I was still learning stuff I was expanding my horizons a bit so it's not as though I give up on art completely for a week it's just shift the emphasis a bit and maybe that shifting the emphasis a bit is a good thing because then I came in this morning did some drawing and painting and it felt good it felt like fresh so maybe sometimes you just need that little break or a little change of emphasis try doing something else the digital stuff I haven't given up on that um, it is very different to me digital art is ju it's just another medium but it does feel quite different to sort of the physical mediums like watercolor or charcoal or whatever it is but I'm still I'm I, I want to try and learn that a bit more so I'll keep doing a bit of that I say this <laughs> this video is a bit of a ramble but hopefully of interest to somebody out there in YouTube land um, if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching and listening and hopefully see you in next week's video